This is Muffin. I think I said that right. I'm going to just call it Muffin because it's just Muffin. Like Muffon. You know, Muffon. Okay. I'm going to call it Muffon now. Uh, this is made by Staniel. Is that actually a name? Is there a person out there with the name Staniel? Are you a real per- Really? Okay, moving on. It's basically a multi-purpose uh, streaming client for desktop. Free clean, no logins, no ads, okay? And uh, this thing can source from a lot of different places. I do have it installed. I do have it open so we can really get into this. So it sources from Last.fm, uh, VK, Yandex, Spotify, you. Deezer, so on and so forth. It has everything in here except for Apple Music. So uh, absolutely free, no ads, no logins, uh, but required for certain features, listening, yada, yada, yada. It's just, there's so much stuff that this thing can do, including theming, background, transparency. It's great. In the description below, you guys can check it out. Now, the reason why this is important is because Having an open source audio platform like this is really cool. Uh, it allows people to just jump in and listen to all their favorite tunes. And yeah, I think that's pretty important. And having something like this on Linux is definitely important because there's a lot of people out there that just want things. You know, they need things. By the way, if I make this actually transparent, is this going to work with my blur of my desktop? It is not. This is disappointing. I tried, so it's there. Uh, let's go over some of the settings though. So here's the theme, and you can upload your own background. So say I want to use the background I have right now, and I believe I've put it in wallpaper. Uh, I have two wallpapers, it's right here, done. And I think that's the minimum amount of transparency, the more you go this way. Yeah, let's just do that. And there we go, now we got a theme. Uh, minimize on start. Let's check out the interface so we can... Ooh, there's infinite scroll. Nice. Tabs. Cool. Sidebar. You can, you know, customize that. You can customize the home page. Uh, you can customize the search according to things. Let's set that to YouTube Music because I don't want to set it to Spotify. That is a horrible idea. <clears throat> Let's try Deezer. What does Deezer get us? 128? uh spotify it gets us 160 that's 192 this is okay let's try that then show audio bit rate show album great q all right videos can be done that's nice to know uh select country uh, well here's the thing i'm not going to select my country i'm going to just select the united states and again, it has lyrics, it has history, it has system, and updates. Enable auto-update. Okay. Alright. So how do we check for new versions? How do we do that? How do we check for a new version? This is the thing. I want to look for one. I don't know. There could be more details on that, I guess, later. But uh, for now... Ugh, seriously, Kendrick Lamar, can we just not? I mean, this, if if a person's going to listen to a song, like in the end, customize the home page according to that user. I don't want to see fake ass people on my thing. I'm not into these people. I have an actual personality. I'm not an NPC. Like, come on. I like Linkin Park. I like metal. I like new metal. I like actual real things. So home page. Uh, no, thank you. And again, it's going to reload the home page, but yeah. Can we customize the home page to not be garbage? Yeah, go away, go away, go away, and go away. Thank you. There, it's not garbage no more. It's got like stuff in it. I want to search a song. Where is the search buttons? Right here. Okay, so I want to search Linkin Park again. Two faced. Perfect. And, uh,. It brings up a video, but it doesn't bring it up the audio. And again, the emptiness machine. Hmm. So, again, we're in the video channel, that's why. Uh, let's try that again. No. Huh. 
can we just like how about breaking the habit i guess this is why you don't uh search for things with youtube music because it just doesn't give you the right stuff now this one this one might give me what we need i'm not touching the whole jay-z thing let's see is it gonna play what about this hmm? oh there it goes 320 bit cool so that, that worked. Bonus edition. So there's the whole album. Nice. Well, this sounds pretty good. This sounds a hundred times better than anything on Spotify. Memories consume, opening the wounds. Can we add it to our list or whatever? I don't know what this button does. Ah, users. Okay. Interesting. Now, what else does this do? Save tracks. So I can save tracks. How do you save tracks? Does that work? Hopefully it's not going to download it because I don't want that. In the, uh, this looks so cool though like a fully customized media player almost fully it's not fully customizable but it still looks really neat i mean it it allows you to be you and i think that's more important than most anything Let's save it it did not save it wow so i guess there's still some stuff to work out what kind of playlist is that what is this oh it's that crap again what about in releases anything good in here until I wake. Okay, so there's one good album in here, and that's Until I Wake. If you don't know Until I Wake, great band. I love it. They're really, really good. Now, there's communities. Alright, there's the Muffin community. There's a lot of other communities. There's a bunch of weird stuff here, I guess. There's multi-tag searches. There's radio. Uh, I'm not seeing anything for radio. What is this? And I already went through all of this. So, yeah. You'll have to go in more depth with this than I can. Because, again, this is a very strange app. I'm used to Cider and I'm used to using Music B. Uh, but this seems like something that maybe, I don't know, someone that doesn't want to sign up for any services can use. With a VPN, of course. So if you got one of them tinfoil hats, this seems like it's something for you. And on that note, again, it will be in the description. Subscribe, like the video, do all that stuff. It really helps. Shouldn't have eaten that pizza. It gave me heartburn. And I'll see you guys next time.